hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to find your CapCut id let's begin finding your CapCut id is a simple process that is going to be kind of helpful if you are facing issues logging into your CapCut account or need to recover it because your CapCut id is unique to your account and of course it can help identify you because some collaborative features or sharing options might require your CapCut ID, especially if you are working on a project, maybe in a collaborative environment where you are working with multiple freelancers, team members, users, or even your client. So, when you want when you want to create the uh, or when you want to reach out to the customer support for issues, and then you wanted to get your CapCut ID, all you have to do is open the app, and then you see. Depending on your platform that you are using, on the bottom right corner, you can see the me icon or the me profile. I want you to click on it. If you do that, you will be forwarded to this section. And on the top, you would notice that you have the view profile. I want you to click that. And then here, as you can see, that is going to be my CapCut ID or that is your CapCut ID. My CapCut ID is going to be tplafs 69 and then i can use that for example if i am going to reach out to a uh, capcut support for issues related to my account they may ask for my capcut id to provide assistance or if your capcut id is linked to your account for example to tiktok you can sync your projects and preferences across devices by logging in with the same id right now i'm going back to my capcut um, project and then i'm gonna continue working with the project that i have here because if you are sharing or collaborating on projects, your CapCut ID can sometimes be part of the link generation or sharing process. All right. And again, it's just have to chop the profile picture or avatar in the top left or bottom left corner of your screen to get to your account profile page. And once there, you should be able to locate your CapCut ID. All right. Actually, here you would notice that on the intro. I have the CapCut ID, which is going to be the blank screen. The default intro from CapCut. If you want to delete that, we have a separate video for that. It's going to be on the back end of your video as well. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.